Ah, goddammit, finally some sense into this fucking protagonist. I will say, at least, at the very, very least, she has actual fucking development. Good. We managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. Like, there is a lot of... There are a ton of games that say that the characters have character development, or they behave. Like, the general world behaves like the character is undergoing some sort of character development. But they don't actually have any of that. And it's profoundly annoying each time it happens. Kasane, I know my power will help. Yeah, yeah, it will, for sure. No doubt about that. Can we focus on the other people, please? There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we have other again. Oh, fuck. I'm not done yet. Damn. Perhaps. Only perhaps. This was not the best time to be going after fights. Can I, like, trigger this thing from a distance? Don't know. Didn't know before, still don't know now. Who are you about? Let's see. Nice. Good dog there. Nice. Yes, the power of friendship. Good stuff. Nice, come on. Yes, it is. On. Nice, there we go. Ooh. Good, good stuff. Ah, did you level up? Wow, I am pretty much done for items. Oh, we got a plug-in parallelization. Horizontal, nice. I'm gonna teach probably Arashi since she has been consistently on our side. Or perhaps that is just the way for this game to fuck me over. But let's see. I'll do that next time I have a free moment. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, let's use this definitely. Bye bye. Oop, nope. This is harder to control. Come on. Good stuff. Oh, I have. There is still a thing over there. Can I reach that spot? No, I can't. God damn it. Let's do some stuff, come on. Oh wow, there are two of them now. Ooh, or three apparently. Let's, yeah, I should do something about that. Uh oh. Wow. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away, get away. 
There we go. Too slow. Kasani, I'll put two members in danger. Not bad. Can I? Ah, oh, that's too bad. I almost hit two of them. There we go. Nice. Are we in the correct place? Yes, we are. Well, let's just go back a little bit. Yeah, we left some enemies along the way. Level two? What? Why? Sometimes. Was this really just cannon fodder for the thing? Like, just to make me feel good. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab environmental things. I want to read a thing about the the enemy that explodes. I want to see if I'm missing something about how to deal with it. Because they keep saying that rabbit's power can help, but I don't, I don't see how. I'll check that next time I open up the menu. I don't like, I don't like opening up the menu all the time for no reason, like just to check on one thing. Refer to try to get a bunch of actions and then do a bunch of stuff at once. This is kind of shitty because it's not really the way that I would play any RPG and it culminates in stuff like me not leveling up. It's you, Ito Platoon. Let's go. Kasane, looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. So my power affected the Kunad Gate. So you knew. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... The me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me, how is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. Liar. He's trying to keep us from worrying, just like Naomi. All right, we should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions, especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka. Are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes. I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. Again, this term, design children... I know I've heard it somewhere before. It was when I regained a memory of mother. Yes. She said I was... made. 
I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. How can you say you know this person? If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Lady, you are the worst. Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. You what? Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? Yes. What? All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. Who should I talk to first? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, am I gonna talk to everybody? Because if not, I'm just gonna like talk to you too. But I don't know, Chai Nier seems like he would have some answers for us. The people who colonized the moon began a major cleanup effort to save the polluted Earth and make it habitable again. They spent nearly a thousand years on the project. What the fuck? The first colonists from the moon were led by Yakumo Sumeragi. What they established on Earth later became known as New Himuka. It's hard to believe, I know. Wait, what? I am... What? It may be hard to believe. But apparently our ancestors moved here from the moon 2,000 years ago. It was after the first colonists from the moon arrived on Earth that the extinction belt suddenly appeared. Because of its appearance, they were no longer able to contact the government on the moon. So, I guess it's safe to assume that there are people on the moon too? What? This game's story is absolutely crazy. Apparently, human beings colonized the moon over 3,000 years ago because the Earth's environment wasn't livable anymore. And the moon was. It's so long ago, it feels like a fairy tale. What? We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't 
can't stand it when you look at me like that. Do they have a faint? What's up? Kagero, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. The fuck? Get real. Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Called sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything, but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. This implied trust mechanic is a really bad idea. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon too. And then figure out what we can do knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do, but it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. 
Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. Hmm, interesting. Crazy. Fucking retarded, but interesting. Ugh, what an exhausting day. Way too much happened. You don't get to say that! At least you already knew about the moon and Togetsu's plan. I'm sorry. Look, let's not start pointing fingers. We should sit down and try to process what we learned. I agree. We've been in the dark all this time, but not anymore. That's right. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu. Kyoka, Kagura, you both all right with that? Yes, of course. This is what I want, to be with all of you. So wait, you decided to trust me? Shiden, you're so sweet. You're making me regret it talking like that. Are you blushing? Dang it, you caught me. You know, kids wouldn't talk to adults like that back in my day. I swear I'll never betray you. If I did, these last 2,000 years would be for nothing. Then let's set out for Seiron after we get some rest. 